a little topic that just came up recently on, uh, I guess, the finale refu refugees for Dory Cole page on Facebook. Um, how you are able to do um, custom rehearsal marks, because as we know, uh, rehearsal marks are sequenced in Dorico automatically and it's um, kind of hard to um, you can change things like this and do it like that like change the index to let's say have this but you see the ending bracket is missing and you can't enter it here so um, you might get it from uh, like a thing called pop char or so. Um, but there's an easier way. So let's undo this. So all I did was I went to the library to the paragraph styles and I duplicated the rehearsal marks and renamed it. This one's called Rehearsal Sneeko, which is my one. Um, <coughs> when you do that, um, oh, let's just change this so it's looking like I use it. Um, when you do that, one thing is important. You have to hit the star around here. So, but is it done here or is it in the font styles? I think it's here when we have this. No, it's not. I don't know. But you have to if you are here you see that this is added to kind of the favorites um or it, it says save as default and when you're doing that you can go to your preferences to your key commands um and now you can search for re so and see there it is create rehearsal mark create system text there it is rehearsal marks which is the standard thing and I created this one created a shortcut for it which is option R in my case you might use something different I think I over uh, overwrote some pre-assigned uh, keyboard shortcut so what this allows me to do is select something hit option R and this then this comes up this goes like verse 1 and now I can add the uh, I don't know what this is called in English rectangle brackets on the Mac these are option 5 and option 6 so now I have these custom rehearsal marks that I can also do like you can add stuff if you want to repeat a section just do this and you can always do it like that like have to play four times here but uh, I'm doing a lot of lead sheet stuff for for stage use so um, I like to have big rehearsal marks and I like to add some info to it. Like if something is repeated, like that you see there's a uh, repeat. Um, if it's repeated more than two times or twice, um, I like to uh, like write it in my rehearsal marks. That might help because sometimes you might just miss this one over here or you might just see it when you're coming here or skip uh, might skip it or overlook it so this is like a, another layer of safety for stage use um so this this is how i did it as i said go to paragraph styles duplicate this one duplicate the rehearsal marks rename it be sure to add the star so it's available in your keyboard shortcut and it's saved as a default um, so if you are doing, um, let's switch to Bravo if you're not doing the handwritten style, 
Um, right now, let's go to the paragraph styles. Uh, this hasn't switched yet. yet. Um, if I change this to academical and I put now you see the the brackets um, what you might want to do this is just uh, get rid of these go to engraving options rehearse marks uh, kill these because you won't need them and now you can um, oh, you can do it here you can uh, do the enclosure here I guess like let's let's go for the rounded one and see if this works now you see the stock rehearsal marks have the padding uh, or have the the box around it um <clears throat> so let's do that for the other ones too let's go to paragraph styles again and go to this border rounded rectangle like this maybe Let's do maybe a bit, let's do two point to make it a bit bigger. You might fiddle around with that just to make it look nice. Okay, this is now also a bit thicker than the other one. So let's address that if we can change it here. I don't know, I've never done that. Border thickness, one point. Let's do 0.5, let's see what it changes okay 0.5 is a little bit too less let's do 1.75 that seems okay so that's kind of <coughs> how you can do it so maybe here like chorus so this way you have your custom rehearsal marks hope that helps